Today on our region's business, the booming demand for nurses in our region, plus a new media venture that's targeting millennials with a focus on post-industrial Pittsburgh. But first, where do we go from here? Over the past generation, our region has diversified our economy and climbed back out of the hole we fell into since the heyday of the Steel City. Today we're about Eds and Neds, R&D, IT, financial services, advanced manufacturing too. Uh, but how do we take all of these assets and take our region to the next level as we begin our next 75? Well, the new leader of the Pittsburgh Regional Alliance has been tasked with helping all of us find the answer to that question. Mark Anthony Thomas is the president of the PRA, which is, of course, an affiliate of the Allegheny Conference, which does co-produce this program. Mark, welcome to Pittsburgh. Great, thank you. I'm so excited to be here. Yeah, well, I'm gl glad to hear, because you're now <laughs> on point to sell the place. So it's really cool. But let's see, a Michigan native, grew up in Atlanta, spent time working in L.A. and, and in New York, most recently came to us right from the Big from Apple. New York City. Yeah, That's yeah. Great. So what were you doing? there? Uh, so I was the Senior Vice President of Partnerships for their Economic Development Corporation, uh, which is tasked with growing and diversifying the New York City economy. Uh, and so I managed, as a part of that work, uh, all the strategic relationships to drive uh, foreign direct investment that create business opportunities and expansion, uh, and had a chance to really see where New York's future was heading over the next 10 years and be at the forefront of shaping that. So were you in the thick of the big Amazon deal? Were you I'm, there competing with us for I that HQ2? Yeah. And so I remember the moment I saw the RFP go out. Uh, I remember all the thinking uh, on how do we strategize around giving New York City a shot. No one really thought we had a chance. Uh, and so as we put together our bid, I became increasingly confident that we were in a better position than the rest of the world knew. Uh, and so as we were shortlisted and then became a finalist, it was great to be at the forefront of really shaping that effort. Uh, and as things, you know, fell apart. Yeah, the, the politics got in the way of the economic opportunity, it seems. Yes. Yeah. Uh, you know, I learned a lot from that experience about how do we then make sure that our processes are inclusive, that we make sure that the population you're serving really understands, like, why you're actually pursuing the effort you're pursuing. Yeah, so, so there you were. You know, you made it there. If you can make it there, you can make it anywhere. So what, what was it about the opportunity here in Pittsburgh that, that made the, the job running the PRA attractive? Uh, so I spent time in Pittsburgh before. Uh, I'm a, a student of American history, so I understood the importance the region served, not just economically, but culturally, uh, within the African American community, and in so many different facets of like modern American life. And so when you see an opportunity to come help shape the next chapter of a region, uh, I couldn't have picked a better location than Pittsburgh having this job opportunity available. And so I put all of my heart in really presenting an, an authentic pursuit of this role uh, and really saw the promise of the region. I love the fact that it was 10 counties and not just a city. Okay, yeah. uh, and so all those things made it just a great uh, opportunity for where I was in my like career. Yeah. So, so, what do you like about the place? What do you see as the potential? Is there untapped promise here that, that we can leverage? There is, and I, I will say I think other regions have taken advantage of the untapped potential here in Pittsburgh. Hmm. Yeah. And so, when you look at the talent that we produce, the great technology, the great. Uh, just livability that's here, there's a lot for us to harness to really create a much stronger pitch for ourselves uh, and allow us to really uh, introduce Pittsburgh to the world in a way that they haven't seen us from an economic perspective uh, and allow us to build relationships, attract businesses, uh, uh, create a modern uh, winning inclusive economy that I feel like we have all the right ingredients for. A anything in particular? Because so many regions these days, they throw on buzzwords, innovation, or it's inclusiveness, or it's this, that, or the other growth. I mean, anything particular about Pittsburgh where you think there's an opportunity here we can really dig into? Yeah, so there are really two ways I think about this. Uh, on, on one hand, we are a gateway of innovation for this country. Uh, and when you look at what we produce in robotics and manufacturing and natural resources and energy, it gives us an opportunity for us to really promote that and be much more competitive for the opportunities that are out there. The second, there is uh, a, a sense of growth that's going to happen across the country and across the world organically. How do we make sure we're getting our fair share? How do we make 
sure that when people are looking at five offices that we're on that short list, when people are looking for places to build their next headquarters or for a company that's growing and saying, okay, where do we want to make our hometown? How do we make sure that we're putting our best bid forward and as competitive as we can be? And I think between those two different areas, we have a lot of opportunity to really grow the economy. Is it just about spin? Is it just about PR? Or are there things we're going to have to do as a community to really position ourselves for that kind of a lead? Uh, we have to first make sure that businesses, and there is a proof point there, that businesses have the talent they need, that they have the resources and support to be successful. Hmm. And we have evidence that that is the case. Uh, for businesses that want to start here, we have to make sure we have the right ecosystem that supports them across every emerging sector. Uh, for people that want to build great products, that is our history. We have to make sure they have the supply chain and the talent and the capacity to train uh, future uh, workers for the fields that they want to invest in. I, I love the idea of the gateway to innovation. It calls to mind the gateway to the West 260 years ago. But when you talk about an ecosystem, what for folks who don't know that term is applied to economic development, what yeah. kinds of things do we need to build out here? Yeah, you've, you've probably heard that term more it's used more recently a lot and what an ecosystem is is really the right conditions where no matter where you are in building a company or scaling a company or creating one that there is a entry point for you to be successful at every level and so if you're an early stage startup you need mentors you need capital you need customers and how do we make sure that in every sector you have that in the region if you're a, a vibrant growing business that already has thousands of employees how do you make sure that you can hire the talent you need today and then whatever your future looks like over the next decade or plus how do we make sure you can grow and be successful here and, and that is an important important argument, an important thing to understand about the region for us to be effective at all of our pursuits. Yeah, so you're going to be working here, you're going to be selling the place, you've got to live here. You've only been here about eight weeks, but how's that piece of it working out? You're starting to feel at home? Do you think you're going to I, feel at home here? I'm so in love with being in Pittsburgh, and I don't say that lightly. Uh, like you read a lot about the livability mm -hmm. and having lived in, in the higher cost regions where really the livability does not match what I've experienced here, uh, it's been quite refreshing. And so I always worried about having a 24-7 job if your city is building a city that you also live in or you're, you're in a region that you also live in. But this has been exciting because the livability, the neighborhoods are great, the broader region has fully embraced my uh, coming here and so it's made it to where I feel like I have 10 counties that have given me a home, which I've never been able to say that before. Well, that's great. Yeah. Well, and and a, a lot of potential, a lot of promise, and great to have uh, your, your perspective, a fresh perspective on how to make it happen. Great. Thank you. Yeah, Mark Thomas from the Pittsburgh Regional Alliance. Thank you so much. Awesome. Yeah. Great. Thank you. Next up, building the pipeline of one of the most in-demand professions in our region, nursing. Please stay with us.